The U.S. confirms five rockets fired at Kabul airport have been intercepted by the U.S. missile defense system. This comes after our military carried out drone attacks Sunday against a vehicle filled with explosives. Trey Yanks in Qatar with the very latest for us. All right, Trey, will the U.S. have all the Americans out in time? Stuart, good morning. The short answer is no, it does not look like it. And that rocket attack overnight against the airport in Kabul really highlighting the risks and dangers that American troops on the ground are facing during their final hours in Afghanistan. New video does show black smoke rising up from an area very close to the Hamid Karzai International Airport. Video online appears to show a car on fire where the rockets were launched from. Five rockets were intercepted by the American Sea Ram defense system and no casualties were reported. Now, the Department of Defense says the evacuations are ongoing and were not interrupted by this incident. ISIS-K, the terror organization responsible for Thursday's suicide bombing, has taken responsibility. There are new questions, though, today about America's response to the ISIS-K bombing last week. On Friday evening, the United States launched a drone strike against what they say was a suicide bomber in a car. Uh, additionally, we've seen reports of civilians killed in another strike launched by the Americans inside Kabul city limits. U.S. Central Command spokesman Bill Urban basically said it would be very saddening to the United States if indeed there were civilians killed as a result. This does come as the United States has made very clear they will continue to work up until the deadline tomorrow afternoon to get Americans out of Afghanistan. But as it stands now to your initial question, Stuart, it does not appear like U.S. forces will be able to go and extract those Americans who are trapped not only in Kabul but across the country. Stuart. All right, I got it. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. And we will see you again soon. Now